This is the video edition for how to resync a live copy language root to a blueprint in AEM multi-site manager. So I'm just going to skip to the problem that we're having here. So the problem is that whenever authors are trying to roll out a page from a language master, for example, EN, when they roll out a particular page, it is not actually rolling out to all the live copy routes that they are entered into. So for this example, whenever we're trying to roll out a page in EN, only the ENGB is picking up the rollout feature. So from here, you can see that I'm going on EN. And here, I'm, I'm going to go to page properties, and I'm going to go blueprint, and I'm going to roll out. So when I roll out, it can only detect the ENGB. What I wanted to do is also detect the EN underscore CA. So let's continue on with the blog. So scrolling down here, um, I'm just jumping straight into how we are going to solve the problem. We just have to solve uh, four items here. We have to verify four things. So the first question to ask is, um, does the blueprint even exist that you're, you're dealing with? So in this case, does the blueprint exist for this node here? So I'm going to check that is that I'm going to click on the main navigation bar, click on the hammer, and then I'll click on sites, and I'll click on blueprints. So here I can totally see that um, it exists here. But if it does not exist for you, then what you need to do is press on create, and then you can choose the generic blueprint templates. And then from here, what you need to do is click on We Retail, and you can see that the Language Masters option is not here. This is because I already have my Language Masters created as a blueprint right here. So now let's go to the blog, back to the blog, and now let's look at step two. So what you need to do next is that you need to go into CRXDE, and under the node that we're trying to fix, um, we have to look at the JCR contents. So for this JCR content, we're looking for the JCR mix types CQ live relationship and CQ live sync. So what we're gonna do here is that we're just gonna to go to CRXDE. Whoops. So from here we are going to check the JCR contents to make sure that we have those two properties there. So let's just look at the image here. So what we're trying to look for here is these two properties. And if I pan back here, you can see that we don't have the properties. So let's just add those two. So I'm going to click on that. Just going to copy this value here. Add a new one. Make sure you click on the option that the drop down is presented to you. Now you click on this, click on that, and then OK. And then now you save all. And now we can verify the third step. In this step, in CRXDE, we have to take a look at the properties on the CQ live sync config node. So that's going to be uh, this exact location here. Uh, so we have to make sure that this node, if it has the correct configuration. So you can see that this node is has a JCR primary type of CQ live copy. And then it has these configurations here. So CQ is deep equals true. CQ master, this is going to be uh, where your blueprint is. So we pointed to the blueprints uh, for EN. And then the CQ rollout config. So this is just the default rollout config that you would configure. Um, you can go ahead and just read this additional information if you want to get uh, more detailed into what each of these actually do. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the CRXDE. So from here, I'm actually under the JCR roots. And I'm actually trying to look for the node name CQ Live Sync Config. So as you can see, I don't have the CQ Live config here node. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node here. So here, the node name has to be CQ Live Sync config. And then the type is going to be CQ Live copy. So once when you create this node, you have to ensure that you have all these required properties inside of this node here. So then we can actually save the node and proceed to the next steps. So CQ deep is equal to true. And then we have the CQ master, uh, which is going to point directly to our language masters of EN. Um, whoops, that is going to be a string. Yep. 
and then lastly we got the world configs so that's gonna be a string array so now I'm gonna go back to CRXDE so now I'm gonna put here multi string array and then I'm gonna go back to a blog and then I'm just gonna copy the property name like that add so now we got these four properties inside the node one two three four so that's looking good so the next step is the final step which is to test out this configuration to make sure everything is working as expected so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna head on to my AEM author so under language masters EN I'm gonna create a new page I'll select the template content page and then I'm just gonna be putting in the title test2 as the page that we're going to roll out so now I'm gonna click on this test2 page I'm gonna go on properties and then click on blueprints so now I'm gonna click on rollouts so now you should see the en underscore gb and also the en underscore ca so when I click on complete I'm gonna press on cancel now just verify those pages are actually rolled out so we got test2 here on ENCA and also ENGB we got test2 here as well and this concludes the demo thank you for watching